Eden. How many Edomites <laughs> does someone like Kobe keep busy? Come on, Edomites. So, keeping us oppressed and um, like a permanent underclass, then at the end of the day, what happens? Um, even when we're rich, we only make them richer. Our needs need to be iced. We need to go in ice baths to survive. We need to work out like a madman, have no rest whatsoever, which is um, LeBron James, to push the human body to its ultimate limits. Um, so this is their kingdom. So as soon as someone look at LeBron at the height of his career now, how many people, white people does he have busy? He's the only one that has like, <coughs> like barbershop that's not like having a crossover. Even Rock, Rock's a bad brother also. And then what? He, to, to be at the height that he is and sustain it, what? His whole cast is black, is, um, is Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? Like his best friend is his co-agent or partner or whatever. Um, funny white dude, but that's not the point. If it was up to Rock, he'd probably just have all brothers. You know what I'm saying? Just like Good Times, it was up to them. They were like, nah, we want to get out together. We want to show progress. We want to show the reality of the hood. You know? We don't like how our people are being depicted. Boom. James was gone. Second or third season. Boom. Damn, damn, damn. James was gone. No questions asked, no one stood up for him, no one marched, no one fought for him. That brother that was fighting for our people behind the scenes, they got rid of him. That's how they get down, devils, man, to the core. Rotten to the core. And the apple is the tree, the apple don't fall far from the tree, the apple is the tree. They passed down this hatred from generation to generation, just like the Lord said, they would have a perpetual hatred and shed the blood of the children of Israel, not niggas, not spicks. Not engines, not Indians. Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, Menace to society is playing in the background, but um, you know, came to mind by the Lord's grace. So I'm sharing it for His glory and His power. Also, Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29, Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. Uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, time to start learning the Bible and these kingdom of heaven with white angels on clouds, all these fairy tales and lies, they got to go, you know, and the Lord prophesied of this in second Thessalonians, the second chapter, the fourth verse to the 12th verse, that he will consume the wicked by way of his mouth. His mouth is the Bible. He speaks by his servants, the prophets. The Bible is the Lord's words that he spoke by his righteous servants. And that's it. All right. Well, there's obviously more to it than that, but um, www.thetruththebible.com.